Jesse, really, man? Even the gas on? What the hell is that? Looks like shit. What is this? Oh god, what is that? It's kind of good, but it's kind of not. Jesse! Brookshire! What is this? Feels like liver, but. It... That is skin! Oh, happy Halloween! What is this shit? What the hell's wrong with you? Whatever, dude. Whoa! What the hell's wrong with you, man? Welcome to an undead episode of Sons of Scullery. I'm Chef Jesse Brookshire. I'm Chef Sam Johnson. And today for you, we have raw meat in a most delectable way. Steak tartare. What you need is 14 ounce of filet, one ounce of anchovies. We got some capers over here, some minced shallot, some garlic, and one egg yolk, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and one teaspoon of hot sauce. Jesse's gonna take this filet over here and cut it into eighth inch cubes. So with this filet, you want <clears throat> nice small chunks. You don't want them too small, but uh, you wanna make sure they're small enough so that they're uh, kind of minced up. So once you cut that beef into nice strips, then we're just gonna go in and 
Dice it up nicely. You're just looking, and perfect. filet mignon is the most tender cut you're going to get out of a it's perfect cow. Right so That's what we're looking for. Very tender. You don't have to go too small because this is going to melt in your mouth. Just like zombies love that melt in your mouth uh, meat. Flesh sensation on your tongue. Mm -hmm. It's a very common misconception we have in the zombie community is, you know, it's like, hey, these guys don't have any taste buds, but we do. We have feelings too. Everybody thinks we just want raw flesh, but no. We like to spice it up a little bit. Throw a little Dijon in there, you know what I'm saying? A little brine capers. Sounds delicious. It's like a fresh corpse. Glad you know what that tastes like. Mm-hmm. I believe you had a chunk of my arm earlier. That's delicious. Was it pretty salty? Had to hold me over here. We're gonna go in with our teaspoon of oyster sour sauce. Go ahead and measure out another teaspoon of hot sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and take this ounce of anchovies. And just Finely dice them right here. That anchovy is going to add a nice depth of flavor to this meat mixture. I honestly love anchovies. I really do. Anchovies got a bit of that umami going on, if you know what that is. It's that unexplainable taste that you get. And we're going to go ahead and just mix this all together. Oh boy. Nice, uh, you need an egg yolk there? Yes sir, please separate it for me. Perfect. Jesse, if you would, please add some, a pinch of salt and pepper. You know, we want to give a nice shout out to our friends at the Olive Tap in Manatee Springs for hooking us up with this awesome Himalayan salt. Mm -hmm. Go check it out sometime. Great shop, they have lots of great infused oils. They also have a lot of awesome vinegars and spices up there. So that's exactly what it should look like right there. We're going to go ahead and cover that up and put it in the refrigerator until we're done. You don't want to leave it uncovered or else bacteria will start to grow and it might really turn into a zombie then. All right, next up, we're gonna have a little uh, microgreen salad that's gonna go with our tartare. Um, we're gonna make a mustard seed vinaigrette with some sherry vinegar. So we got about a half a teaspoon of olive oil in here. We're just gonna take these mustard seeds straight into the pan. Just gonna get a nice little toast on them here. Get that oil all nice around in there. We're just gonna wait for them to pop a little bit. Just want to get a nice little toast on these guys. Nothing too crazy. If you overcook them on a high heat, they're going to actually start to pop like popcorn all over the pan. And you'll be tracking them down all over your stove. So that's not the zombie thing to do. These are right about the stage before they start getting overcooked and making popcorn all over your pan. You can see them exploding everywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to take about a sixth of a cup um, of sherry vinegar and a third of a cup of olive oil and then we're gonna incorporate that in with uh, three tablespoons of honey. And then we're gonna add about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a little bit of salt and pepper. So now what we're gonna do is add a third of a cup of oil to this pan, just kinda cool it down before we mix it with the rest of the ingredients. Incorporate that into our... Come right in there. Oh. So there we go. Nice basic vinaigrette. Not overly complicated, but uh, Definitely want to feature that mustard in that uh, vinaigrette because it's going to go really good with the, uh, the filet mignon that we've minced up. This is a key part of staying, uh, dead. staying undead.
All right, next up, we have a delicious little aioli we're gonna make, which uh, an aioli is uh, egg yolk and oil-based. It's basically a mayonnaise. And we're gonna make a roasted sweet onion aioli uh, to garnish this dish with. And this is a nice organic sweet onion we picked up. Uh, about a medium to small onion. Uh, cut it into half inch planks and we roasted it in an oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Flip the onions about halfway through, get a nice uh, color on there, nice depth of flavor. So how we're gonna start that out is we have our two egg yolks in here and we're going to blend these onions up and to get it going, we're just gonna add a little bit of oil just to add it a uh, nice little lubricant in there to get it blended nicely. So Sam, if you would. So we're gonna put that lid on there and put it on about a blend, setting three. So once that gets pureed down nicely, we're gonna take this lid off, hopefully. And while it's blending, we're gonna add the rest of our oil. We got about a quarter of a cup, third of a cup, depending on how thick you want it. Perfect. We're also gonna add a pinch of salt. I'm gonna add just a little bit, just a touch of hot water. It's gonna loosen it up a little bit because we want it to uh, be nice and, and uh, creamy. Nice and creamy for the uh, garnishing with this. So. And that's perfect right there. Right next. One of my all-time favorite things, poached eggs. So with eggs and poaching, what you're doing is you're creating a nice gentle simmer on some water and generally some vinegar. Usually you do the whole egg. For this dish, we're just gonna do the egg yolk because egg yolk is a very key component of a very good tartare. So we're gonna make a poached egg yolk and use that as the yolk for the tartare which is generally mixed in. So we're doing a little deconstruction, if you will, okay? If you don't know what deconstruction is, then you can Wikipedia that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna separate these. I'm gonna do these by hand. These eggs, get a nice crack on there. Be very gentle. You just wanna get that egg white completely off of there. You kinda use your finger to break it off, and then you have that nice egg yolk. Be very gentle. Perfect. We want to keep those egg yolks nice and whole so when we poach them, it creates a nice cooked outside, but the inside is going to be nice and raw. Now we're going to poach these egg yolks. So you just want to be really gentle, make sure all those yolks are still intact. And we're going to just drop them in one by one. Here we go. Very gentle. Very gentle. One at a time here. As you can see, that water is barely boiling. It's barely simmering. You don't want to go anything past that. Real gentle is that's what poaching is all about. Two minutes, and we're going to pull them out. Zombies like brains And everything That you're made of This is a flesh game Zombies like brains And everything That you're made of This is a flesh game So what we got here is basically a potato, cut about a millimeter ring, very, very thin. And what we did is we par-cooked these, meaning that we fried them for about halfway through. And then we pulled them out of the oil, let them sit and just dry out. And then we fried them again to get them crispy because if you would have fried them the whole way through the first time, basically what you would have is an overcooked burnt potato. All right, so I pulled these egg yolks off and uh, you can Give them about a minute and a half, two minutes. You can feel it. Just give it a nice subtle touch. You can feel it's still kind of soft inside, but it started to form that, that cooked outer part. 
So Sam's going to pack this nice tartare into whatever kind of mold. We're going for a nice circular mold. Beautiful. And then we're just going to set two of those egg yolks on here. We're going to go ahead and cut these radishes and fabricate them. So all we're going to be using is the outside skin to microplane over the top here. While Sam's doing that, I'm going to mix up our vinaigrette into our microgreens. It's like we made like a meat castle with a nice little uh, microgreen moat here. Go over the top with the radish. We're going to come in here with those pateros. Okay. Perfect over the top of the eggs. Aioli time. I'm going to go ahead and dot it all around. Yeah. All come right. on, Dan. And there you have it. Steak tartare. Zombie style. Sons of scholarly style. This is how we do.